Hey, what is going on guys and girls? Enjoy it's Happy Zex here, also in this episode, welcome back to my channel. Now, in this tutorial in Visual Basic, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a progress bar or a status bar, as it's normally known, into your, or, uh, let's say, your advanced web browser or your tabbed web browser or even just your standard web browser. Now, this coding was actually all found by me. You know, I've been working on this for a few hours. It was simple to find. Uh, it wasn't actually hard. It's not hard. It's only adding in two types of uh, codes. But, you know, these codes will actually be in the description, guys. So, don't worry about that. Uh, so, you want to go ahead and go into your toolbox. And you want to add something called a status to it. And once you add that in, it will become this. Then you need to click this little logo thing here. It will be at the front, like at the start though. And you want to add a progress bar and you want to add a status label. Now you want to rename the progress bar. So you click on it and then scroll up. And you want to name it progress bar 1. And this thing here you can just call it status label or status text. One, it doesn't really matter. And you want to name that. Like you want to put it like idle or done or something. But what we are going to do is we are going to add some text. I guess. Uh, or some coding. And you want to go ahead and click X web browser 1. Then you want to go ahead and click progress change so you go down to P, progress change and all that you want to do is paste in this coding it's really simple yeah it's progress bar one dot maximum equals e dot progress max progress bar one dot value equals progress max uh, status label one dot text equals loading or if you don't have the exact uh, name that I um, changed mine to you just want to change the uh, names to whatever you changed yours to and then it will be if progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one dot maximum, then status label one dot text equals done. Progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one dot maximum, and then end of thing. This little error here is just in case anything goes wrong, it will say error whilst loaded. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and scroll up. You want to put timer on dot start. It, now it won't be like what I've done because you haven't added it in yet. So you want to go ahead and click on toolbox. You want to click time and then you want to put it in. Now, I've already got mine because mine, well, the tutorial that I just did didn't really go as well. It was like 10 minutes that like, I went into depth about it, and actually, not a lot of people wanted me to go into depth. So, again, just copy and paste this from the txt file that I got for you guys. And it's if progress bar one dot value equals zero, then state of label one dot text equals idle. And then I've done this little thing here because theoretically or technically. The web browser is idle, but it has actually loaded. The, the, but it has actually loaded. I don't really like saying that word. It's managed to load the page, so it will say idle, and then it will be uh, done. And then else basically means or, like or, and then if progress bar value is not zero, but you have to put not before. Then if progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one dot maximum, then status label one dot text equals done. Progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one maximum. It's actually really simple coding, guys. You know, it shouldn't take you any more than five minutes to put this together. So if I went ahead and I put google.co.uk, if I can actually spell correctly, and click end or oh, click search even, as you can see, it went into uh, the progress bar went up. Why can't you find Google? Did I spell it incorrectly? Yes, I did. Right, so as you can see the progress bar goes up and it will say done but um, it will then go straight to idle and then done so that means it the loading is idle but the page has finished loading and sometimes it does glitch out like if you have really fast internet if you went ahead and you refreshed it or at least if you opened up a different one it says done while it's loading because it actually finishes uh, manages to load the page before the progress bar can do anything about it so if you had a worse internet connection than I do, I get 50 down and about 15 to 25 up. Uh, then, if you get less than that or quite a lot less than that, you'll notice the loading part in there. If you don't, don't worry, you can just change the done text into the loading one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave ratings, really tell me out. You know, it took me about an hour or two to find these coding. Uh, I did have a certain amount of coding, or certain coding, but that wasn't going to work. So yeah guys, I uh, hope I'll see you next time. See you guys.